a list of cars used in the Transformers movie franchise. What cars were in the Transformers movies? Over 80 cars have been included, with pictures. General Motors definitely scored a win when they were licensed to provide most of the cars for Transformers. What cars were used in Transformers? What about the cars from Transformers 2, Transformers 3, Dark of the Moon or Transformers 4 vehicles? For many gearheads, Bumblebee was their introduction to the new, fifth generation Chevy Camaro. Fortunately, with the second movie, we finally began to see the name of supercars with the Audi R8, and later, with the Mercedes-Benz SLS, and Ferrari 458, the latter one even being an Autobot. While the everyday versions of these cars might not turn into robots, they're still great to drive. These days, one of the best ways to advertise your product is to have it in a blockbuster movie. Transformers is perfect for automakers because any of them would be happy to have their vehicles featured in a huge action movie like these ones. On the other side of the coin, however, Transformers also needs to make money, and by having cool cars in their films, they can attract more people. It is a win-win situation then for automakers like Ferrari and Mercedes and Audi to team up with the producers of Transformers and have their cars in the next film. If you want to see some more cool cars from the movies, check out the best James Bond cars list. Transformers is a franchise that has been around for decades. In 1984, Hasbro introduced the Toys brand to the US, according to Transformers.com, and the same year as the characters from the toys made it onto the screen. In 2007, Michael Bay brought the Autobots and Decepticons into cinemas, bringing nostalgia to those that grew up with the toys and the TV series in the 1980s and 1990s and exciting the young generation with amazing action movies with cool cars, robots and awesome special effects. Between 2007 and 2017, there have been five movies made, and a spin-off called Bumblebee should premiere later this year. One of the main features of the Transformers franchise is the cars and the choices that have been made for the movies did not disappoint. It makes sense that Michael Bay chose some of the coolest cars to appear in his movies, because, from a lore standpoint, Transformers can scan the vehicles they want to turn into, so when the Autobots are picking their alternate modes to drive around between the fights with Megatron and his Decepticons, which favor military helicopters, fighter jets, or military vehicles, 